Geomatics is a relatively new term. Um, uh, it is uh, a term that encompass land surveying, uh, geodesy, uh, photogrammetry, GPS, which is Global Positioning Systems, uh, GIS, Geographic Information Systems. So it's an um umbrella under which a lot of these other areas of specialization under which geomatics fall. Um, contains. Um, uh, relatively new terms, as, as, as I said before, traditionally it was called land surveying and um, because of the changes in technology like for example scanners and drone technology and robotic total stations have changed the surveying field to a more diverse area, hence the new term which we call geomatics. Right now you can see the Google and uh, Microsoft, they developed Google Map, Bing Map. All their data actually are collected by land surveyors, by geomatics professionals. And the, the Google images, the, the Earth 3D Earth, all this relate to geomatics. We are the one to collect data, give those data to the big companies. So basically people use every day, but they did not realize that's geomatics related. Our curriculum, uh, as I said earlier on, it's hands-on. So we teach you in the class, in the lectures, the concepts. And in the labs, we give you, you get to touch these total stations, you get to use them in a practical situation. You actually go out there in the field and survey. Okay, you actually use the drones to collect the data, you use the scanners to collect the data. Being able to see how they can um, collect that information in the real world, process it and get results so that people can make better decisions has been so beneficial to a lot of our students. I have a collaboration with uh, Mr. Jason Mann in the archaeology and we do some collaborated project. Uh, he needs to do uh, some mapping for the archaeological sites. So that's a chance to help our students to understand the feeling of the, what's going on in the real field, what, uh, real world, what, what you need to do, you know, take care, cut bushes, you know, try to cut straight lines or try to make sure maintain accuracy, how to use the equipment in the solve real problems. Our program is a better credited. And what does that mean? It means that it's, it can, um, you can get a degree from our program and go anywhere in the world, it's recognized. It's a very high level of recognition in the, in the, in the applied sciences accreditation. We have a problem. The problem is we don't have enough students in our program to fulfill the amount of job opportunities that our students are having. It's a problem, yes, but it's a good problem to have. There's a desperate, desperate need for licensed land surveyors here in Alabama. Another area is in GIS, Geographic Information um, Systems. Scanning technology, drone technology, all of those are methods of collecting data out in from the real world where that data is used in a GIS environment. Choose Troy for geomatics for one reason. Number, I'll, I'll list a few of them. One is the only ABET credit program in the state of Alabama. Two, you get a lot of hands-on. All right, it's a one-to-one -one interaction with the professors and the students. We know you by a name, not by a number. Okay, and three, you have many job opportunities being offered to you throughout the time period that you are in the program and even beyond when you graduate.